Yes, I'm Alan. I'm Tom. And we're talking. We're on our live segment. We're on our, uh, our live talk segment. segment. Talking about cars and fuel cells. So we're basically going to start off with cars. Cars and fuel cells are kind of both because fuel cell technology is going with cars. Mm -hmm. um, uh, fuel cell is an alternative energy to gasoline and electricity power, which um, it's very, very complex and it's taken many years to... Yeah, and it's still very complex. Complex. I'm, um, it's only really used in cars and buses and mail trucks in places like China, Japan. It's not really used... It's not really used in the U.S. Yeah. It's very rarely used here. Um, we haven't, we're not definitely, we're definitely not one of the more fuel efficient um, continents. Obviously. Uh, Japan definitely, they've been experimenting with a ton of stuff. Fuel cell's been one of them. And we start, did we, st are we starting? We're oh. on. Oh, okay. No, 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 I mean, like, are we starting with that? Because we usually talk, say, but both of them are. And anyway. Well, anyway, we're, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're mainly talking about fuel cells definitely Okay, you want, uh, let's start with the cars. Okay. okay, cars in general. Well, cars in general, basically, um, right now, basi uh, uh, right now they use gasoline, which is obvious, which is a very hazardous form of fuel because it burns the, it uh, burns off fossil, uh, C uh, CO2 emissions, CO2 emissions, which is, which goes in, and of course, yeah. if you haven't heard, living under a rock, it causes global warming, which is a huge problem. And 97% of scientists agree that global warming is what is causing the Earth to warm up. Yeah. So, um, so, and it's causing a giant hole in our ozone layer. So, that's the problem. So, that's why they're trying to make more efficient fuel cell. We have a clip for you. If you want to roll that clip, Eric, the first one. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to tell you how, so how cars. the cars work. Okay. Okay. Well, the video apparently is not playing. If video. you want to play the second video, you can play the second video, Eric. Cell. Fuel cell. We'll play a fuel cell video and see if that works. Ah, the fuel cell video works. There you go. Fuel cells can possibly... Alright, um, it's... Well, this is the fuel cell video. This basically, um... Describe, this is explaining why the what happens with the video, what what happens, how the fuel cell is combined into electricity and energy for your car. Yeah, this is how it's combining. It's right now taking the energy and and this big former plant. It's yeah. It's making the fuel cell, quote unquote. And yeah, this it is has to go through this. Those are actually cells. That those each one of those are actually cells, and then that's a cell as well. That's a one fuel cell. It's kind of crazy how they've come up with this. Yes, it's still very complicated technology. And they ha it's not very well known and very well used in cars, but there is a car coming out in the U.S., I believe in two 2010, which runs on fuel cell. Yeah, so it's kind of, it's complicated. It's, um, it, and it's only, the only a um, excess or the only ex byproduct of the fuel cell uh, which is over the, which is right on the screen now. Uh, the only byproduct is water. So that's very interesting. It and goes th all through the process and it only comes out with H two O, which is yeah very very impressive. very very good because H two O is not pollutant, so it won't harm the ozone when running, but it will, of course, make a lot of water on yeah. the ground. Yeah. Oh, well. oh yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Um. So. It's it's interesting, um, but the whole reason we're talking about the whole cars is that cars are, uh, since this is Green Week, oh, there's, a, there's that, the electric, yeah, that's how that works. That's how all that goes together. Two combines hydrogen atoms combined with oxygen. And with hydrogen. oxygen. Hydrogen and oxygen, and that creates the f water. See it in slow motion. Yeah. Yeah, Continues so it, it basically that's, that, that creates the hydrogen and, and then that goes through and then that how that's how one part of the energy that's how one of the part of the fuel cells are made and then that creates the energy so that's it's very interesting but the reason we're talking about it like i said oh another part of the video 
The reason we're talking about it is... <laughs> Why don't you talk about it? <laughs> the reason we're talking about this is cars is a huge part of the global warming. And we need people to know that if you move to something more green, like... Yeah. Um, there was a... Uh, fuel cell. Yeah. Uh, fuel cell technology, which is not exactly out yet in the U.S. Uh, more California, stuff like that. They're experimenting um, with it. Yeah, they're experimenting with it, California. Um, so if you go out and you buy a uh, new car... Um, I'm, it used to be when you bought a new car and you bought a more fuel efficient car, the government gave you a brake or something like that on it. And that was nice because the, because then you didn't have to worry about it. But, um, now if you bought an older car, then you still have to pay, you don't really have any price off or anything like that. So, but it's, um, better for the environment, which is why we're talking about it. Cause this is green week, the second episode of green week. So, um, also we, um, we're live, so this is a live segment. Yeah, so if live you want to make a phone so we call, want to make a phone call, ask us a question, call us. It's on the screen. Call us live at two zero three two six five six three one zero. Yeah, you, you don't have to be in Wallingford. Call us. It could be anywhere. If you're watching us in, I don't know, Florida, you could Florida, Pennsylvania, whatever, wherever you, can call you are, it. you can call us. Give us a call. Um, um, so yeah, fuel cell. The biggest thing changing, even to anything, even not fuel cell, but anywhere is. The pumps. Yeah. People don't know where to get, and well, it's, it's very stuck. scarce. Like now, it's all oil, all all these uh, gas places where you can go. But where are you gonna get an ethanol station? Yeah, where are you at? That's the biggest thing. There's there's places that are gonna support it. Once it comes out, there's actually gonna be gas stations. But it's gonna be more popular for a gas station to offer gas than hydrogen. So the the biggest thing now is the swap, which is basically ethanol and Gas in general. So, and what are they going to call gas stations? Are they going to call because are they going to call gas stations gas stations after fuel cells? No, they wouldn't. They would call it fuel cell stations or something because I it's know, not producing gas. There's a lot gas. of places that stay that have a name like that, and that it just stays like that with it. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's um, it's very interesting technology, and I can't wait for it to come out because I would love to have a fuel cell car. Because <laughs> little heads up though, when it does come out, this car alone is probably going to be. Mm, a lot of money. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> very, 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 uh, very expensive. Wealthy people. Will um, be able also, to buy. Uh, the whole thing about the fuel cell is that the fuel cell technology that's coming out, they're hoping that fuel cells will be cheaper than gas. Of course, that's not going to stay long. With uh, when the fuel cells have become popular, the price will eventually rise. Oh, there's the car. The demand will go up because the price is going up. And that that car is actually showing you on the screen right now. How it works, how yeah, the car how, is how powered the by the fuel cell you saw earlier in the movie. It's pretty amazing stuff. Yeah, actually. it's pretty amazing stuff. And, you know, the car the car's coming out. It's going to go out. It still comes out at an incredible speed, unlike the hybrid. The <laughs> hybrid cars. You can't see that right now. Uh, yeah. Sorry about the clip lagging. We're not really yeah. sure. It's a technical difficulty on Let's Talk Tech. Um, yeah. <laughs> wow. Sounds really good. Um, yeah, so... The, um, so it's not going to be like the hybrid cars, which we also have a clip for. We'll show you later. Um, the hybrid cars are kind of slow. They're, they're not exactly, they're not the fastest things in the world. They're like a, uh, uh, what was that that Lewis, uh, Lewis Black was saying? Plymouth Horizon? Yeah, they're like a Plymouth. <laughs> they're definitely not fast, but another big, big thing that has been coming out is the hybrid to regular swap, where you can like switch between gas hybrid and, and gas. I would like to have an all-electric car. It, it, it definitely nice. helps. But the problem, I guess, like I'm about to say, <laughs> with all electric cars is it doesn't last very long. Not no. at all. They don't last at all very long because the battery, it the takes a ton to power The battery them. is huge. And you have yeah. to have a huge battery, which weighs a ton for your car, which takes more to power. It's, and then you need yeah. a place to put it. It's a pain. It really is more of a pain than you need. And then on top of that, it won't go that fast because the speed you needed to conserve energy for long distances, which won't happen. It's the, they haven't gotten a big, in, a small enough battery with enough charge to fit in a car and power it for long enough with this with good speeds. Well, it's not just that they haven't come out with uh, a small enough battery, but the hybrid has actually three batteries, uh, three batteries in it. Yeah, it doesn't just have one battery; it has three batteries and that power the whole thing. And, and what ends up happening is, like you saw, the hydrogen mixes with the oxygen, and it powers the the batteries that are in the car with. Out pollution, which yeah. is pretty convenient, if yeah. you ask me. 
Yeah, so it, it's pr it's pretty interesting stuff. But um, like I said, with the, uh, the speed, I'm I'm very curious about the speed for that. Uh, it, it depends on how much energy it actually creates. And if it doesn't create enough energy, then it won't become a popular car because it can't go very fast. And then you can't get anywhere yeah. fast. And so then it's not. That's why gasoline is basically our main power source because it could go fast. It can burn it energy can and it fast can fast enough. Yeah. It's and it's reliable. You can definitely find. You don't have to yeah. worry about where's your next gas station. It's down the street. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. So we're basically actually mixing this uh, these segments together with cars and fuel cells. So we are going to go to. We'll go to. Uh, you want to go to a commercial? Now? We'll go to a quick okay. commercial. Yeah. We'll and we'll be back with yeah. more car. Yeah, cars and energy. fuel cell. <laughs> The following is a public service announcement. Hi, I'm John Michael, host of Creation. Today I'd like to talk about recycling. Can we really make a difference? Each year, I use approximately 480 plastic bags from the grocery store. In the past, I've just thrown them out. Since starting my show Creation, however, I've come to realize that my habits are harming Mother Earth. So this year, I took an oath to go green in every possible way and to help promote a better understanding of what recycling really is. Why? Because I can make a difference. Now each time I go to the grocery store, I bring back my used plastic bags, a free service the stores provide us to help save creation by recycling our used plastic bags to make new ones. Did you know that over 380 billion plastic bags are thrown in the trash each year, ending up in our landfills? And cities spend up to 17 cents per bag in disposal costs, thereby wasting millions of tax dollars. What are you doing to save creation? Help reduce waste. Please recycle your plastic bags. On behalf of creation, thank you. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Welcome okay, back to Let's Okay, welcome Talk back Tech. to Let's Talk Tech. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're going to continue our segment on cars and fuel cells. <laughs> and, um, well, let's, let's just say, so electric energy, another thing that is going to be a big problem uh, with the uh, fuel cell cars, like we said, it was, it's going to be harder to find. The electric cars are kind of slow. The uh, fuel cell is not exactly out yet, so it's not exactly legal for most places. So well, that's going to be the hardest part. It's not only that it's not, it's not that it's illegal, it's very hard to find. Well, it's not legalized. Placed. It's not illegal, but it's not legalized. Yeah, and it's so hard. It would be virtually impossible. You'd have to live and work and go nowhere yeah. besides next to a fuel cell plant, which is psh, where? Yeah. <laughs> where do you know of a fuel cell plant? If you know, please call it. <laughs> I beg of you. <laughs> okay, so. A fuel cell gas station. And a fuel cell station, whatever. On the note of, ener of the electric energy, did you know that in 1916, the first person to, he actually wrote a book, um, wrote, a <laughs> wrote a book about the, the energy, that it should swap over to electric energy as the main fuel of America, which is, this is in 1916, before the global warming, before everything, they wanted electricity to be the main source power, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, it is pretty awesome. I can't think of someone thinking about that. They already had cars working, going fast, faster than cows and whatever they used in 1916. Wow. They were <laughs> Horses, Thomas. They were definitely... <laughs> horses and trusty steeds. <laughs> they were definitely so much better than horses, carriage horses. So definitely, I I'm shocked that yeah. that would happen. Um, once again, we're asking you to call in on the number below, 265-6310. We're begging you to call in and ask us a computer question because this this, these subjects were kind of dry you. on. So... We're we're running out of <laughs> yeah we're running we're running out of, out of stuff to talk about so if you want to call in that's yeah <laughs> that's that's totally fine with I'll us. call you if you <laughs> come on, come on okay uh, okay um <laughs> <laughs> okay so basically it wrap it wraps down to um wraps down wraps down it it it, it sums up <laughs> sums with, up wraps down with the idea that you should definitely switch to an alternative energy car better than oil-based cars even um but i would definitely wait i would wait until the concept of uh alternative energies become more common yeah. and more frequent um, people have hybrids but they don't really have ethanol only based cars because you can't find ethanol only okay stations um that's very true um i'm gonna 
kind of go on a segment that we kind of did last time. We did stuff with solar panels, and uh, we had a clip to, for a solar-powered car and stuff like that, but Eric can't get that to play, so I'm, we'll talk about that for a little bit. Um, the solar-powered car is uh, basically you could run a car with solar panels. They had that. It's a constant source of energy as long as the sun's out. But what people don't realize is that when you say, I want to put solar panels on my car, which is what I would love to do on an electric car, you think, they're thinking, oh, let's run, let's run the car with electrics, with the solar energy. And that's not what I want to do. I want to take the solar energy and charge the battery. So this way the battery's always charged. This way the battery, the car could always <laughs> be going very fast. <laughs> wow. Thomas well, is full of giggles was, today. That was our technical person, our manager of the studio, Tyler, who just walked by us. And Thank you, <laughs> Tyler, for doing that. Um, <laughs> that was not very nice. <laughs> okay, anyway. So, yeah, so you can run the car on the solar panels as long as it's getting battery to charge it because then the battery will always constantly be charged as long as the sun's out. The, uh, yeah, second but even when that's out, it won't charge it fast enough for you to use. I mean, you're going to need a big, very, very clumsily well, looking I mean, solar panel I mean, on the top of your car. I mean, there's three batteries in an electric car, and it runs in an electric car. And you're going to need, like, six batteries charging off three solar panels and f gas to run a car on solar yeah, panels I mean, the way we do now. I mean, if you, have, not good a, enough. if you have an electric car, okay, now let's say your electric car is running by itself on batteries, okay? So how are you gonna charge that battery? Plug it in, that's still gonna be using fossil fuels eventually Because of electricity. Yeah, yeah. It, so technically what you actually, do is you use the solar energy, it's a renewable source of energy. Right now, actually, it's actually using more energy to use an electric car. Yes, it's not polluting the earth, but in a way, in a sense yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, in a sense it is. Because eventually if you go back through the line stream, back it to starts make the, out at the power plant to make which the burns the fossil fuels. To make the electricity, it burns fossil fuels. So you're actually, and then you just don't get a, a lot out of it as much as you would from gas. So in essence, yes, you're saving yourself money. Yes, you are because the electricity is cheaper than gas a week probably. And you probably are go not polluting the earth in a sense from your car, but you are polluting the earth from the place that made the electricity, your local electricity plant. So, wow. okay. So anyway, so basically, you want to use a renewable source, which such as the sun. And if that, and uh, a second plan I had was to use wind power. Wind power is only known to be used in like higher fields. But if you take a fan and you put it in, um, I don't know, small fan, like a computer fan, even a computer fan, um, put it in, put it in the grill of your car. And Degree. when you're on the highway, just go. It's not going to create that much of electricity. I obviously no. It, it wouldn't. It even would, if you have six fans, it's there not wouldn't gonna, be a noticeable difference. Actually, very little. But yeah, it'd be very little. But it's another source. And um, but if we could make it easier to collect wind from wind power, it, like an easier conversion, then in the future there might be prospects for this yeah. wind energy. Yeah. But right now we we wouldn't be able to convert it into energy that would make a noticeable difference yeah. in the car. So, so it's, not, you, it's so, not practical to... So basically what I'm saying is just put the fans in the grill of the car, small fans, put them in the grill of the car, and then they will. And then you can also hook them up to the battery to charge. Again, it doesn't create that much of a big of a difference, not as much as a solar panel would create, but it does create a noticeable difference. And it's actually a pretty cheap way to do it. But again, you're going to need a converter for wind, yeah. which you can probably find on the internet. Wind, wind energy is the same thing as solar. Yeah, but AC, you, pa AC, DC, AC. Uh, power translate. Um, AC current stands for, uh, what, what's AC? Stand? DC stand, stands for direct current. Yeah, and AC stands for, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> look it up, <laughs> Google it. Uh, <laughs> so. Okay. Oh, uh, we may have a phone call. Shut up. Nope, I don't believe so, no. Um, yeah, so we, so there definitely is um, prospect for solar energy out there and other energy for cars. There definitely is a prospect of it, but it's not, I don't know, evolved enough to be used right now to a point. Hybrids, yes, of course hybrids have been advanced enough yeah. that you can... Hybrids need tweaks. Hybrids are like Vista. 
<laughs> <laughs> not that bad now. Nothing, com nothing compared to the awfulness of Vista. But yes, the hybrids need tweaks, but they are on the right track. They are useful. They are right. They're not as fast as regular cars, but they definitely have the advantage over electricity. So, because they use oil and electricity swap out kind of thing. Yeah. But so they definitely are on the right track. If anything, get a hybrid. Yeah, it's, yeah, if the hybrids are the, the best at the moment. They also, uh, I have seen that they are working on a car that's similar to what mm -hmm. I was talking about, that charges with the solar power. Uh, they have them and they don't look like you have a solar panel on your car. They look like a regular car and then there's just solar panels on the top and you wouldn't even realize it unless you looked on top of the car. So that's very, that, that, that's going to be interesting as we go into like 2020 and then we're going to have some very interesting cars out in the road. When, yeah, definitely when the solar energy gets more uh, convenient for people in general. Better looks, better just all around, <laughs> <laughs> all around in general. I mean, it'll be a definitely a better thing than right now yeah. this huge ugly solar panel on the top of your car. <laughs> Which, which if you get into an accident, one is ruined. Two, if you clip the side of a bus or something, it flies right off. It's not practical right now. Unless you live somewhere where there's a lot of sun, it's not practical to have a solar panel. Yeah, okay, car. Arizona. Yeah, you're living Arizona, in Florida, Arizona. middle of nowhere. I mean, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'd like to see is if they create heat into energy. That would be interesting. Well... They can, in a sense, they can create something, thermal energy. Oh, They've been thermal, doing that. yeah, geothermal energy. But they have not been able to create heat, heat in general. They've been able yeah. to get solar energy, but that's the um, trend from the sun coming down. So they haven't been able to convert heat in general to it, but they definitely have, they're on the right track of doing that. <laughs> oh, my God, <Yeah>. stop! <laughs> okay, we have a very funny... Uh, Manager, manager here. here. Well, he thinks he's being <laughs> funny, but he's really annoying. Actually, he's very <laughs> distracting. If you've seen us laugh during the show, it's because yeah, of him. Yeah, it's because of him. Okay, well, we're gonna go to a commercial, and we'll be back in a sec. Life is like a big soccer game. If you play clean and don't break the rules, you'll always win. Yeah, uh, welcome back. Okay, um, well, we're going to do our new segments. Talk about our new segments. Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, one of the new segments is huge, big deal. YouTube has now advertised on their site, if you've been there, which a billion people have a One day, apparently. Billion. A day. That, that YouTube has a billion views, just people going to the site. Not a billion people watching in general, but a billion people logging on in different times of the I day. I would love to have a billion people go on our website. <laughs> if you want, <laughs> get all your friends, try to do it. Go to I would love to do it. Co. Cc, billion people. That would make my day. Yes, but YouTube has advertised that they have a billion people a day. On yeah. their it's website, on, if you go on YouTube, go on YouTube I right think that's now. Pretty go YouTube.com right now. It's right at the on, top. It's right in the corner. It's it says right YouTube. In the corner of the screen. A billion it says people. YouTube. Today. One B N. With a B. Or a B. With whatever. a B. Yeah, billion hits. I think that's yeah. pretty good. It's I mean, pretty good. I definitely, know. people know about YouTube. It's oh, a, everybody knows. About it's I, it's dude, a main. All our videos that we get for the show is off YouTube. It's on YouTube. Yeah, it was on YouTube, go, go but we on, get from YouTube. We're downloading to YouTube. Um, so you can watch them there as well, if you want. Um, yeah, but definitely most people know that it's the main source of internet entertainment from videos. And it's definitely very popular among people. Yeah. I didn't know how high it was. Well, there's, there's like we did when we did our YouTube show, there's um, Ask Sexy Phil, there's uh, Ray William Johnson, there's... Equals three. Equal, well, Ray William Johnson equals three. Um... I don't know. Uh, there's uh, there's a ton of videos. Um, a ton of videos. How to uh, Die in J the Wild. James at War. I recommend How to Die in the Wild. I love those videos. They're so funny. They're, okay. Um, 
yeah, it's this guy who tries pretty much to die in the wild. It's really funny. Yeah, it's, he's, <laughs> he's a so funny guy. stupid. Um, okay, so yeah, you can see why all of a sudden that you can already see that why because YouTube has the, a billion YouTube people. is so popular because YouTube is not like an individual thing. They don't post their own videos. YouTube has everyone else post videos. So the funnier everyone else's videos are, the more hits YouTube gets. Which is pretty much so every YouTube person owns, who... YouTube owes all of its thank you to its people that make the videos. High-level people who make without, the videos. Without the high people, viewers. Yeah, without right. people who make the videos and post really freaking funny videos and videos that people want to watch, there would be no there would be no popular YouTube. Uh, so it really goes down to the people who post the videos, like us, that get only three to 100 hits on our videos. Three. So <laughs> <laughs> three to 100. Hey, we've been doing pretty good. But um, they are. There definitely is, even the small numbers, like three to hundred views. Yeah, uh, it it, it, it all makes counts. a difference. Yeah, it all counts in the end. And then there's the views like uh, Britney Spears' "Womanizer." Yeah, Britney Spears' "Womanizer." I didn't like the song yeah. at all, but apparently people do because it has like forty million hits. Yeah. Um, what other ones? Shoes, muffins. Yeah, shoes, those, muffins. Those have been pretty popular. I believe shoes is like thirty-two million, and muffins has like oh yeah, Chris, couple the, million. Chris the computer guru. He's not that popular, but check him out. Uh, he's not too bad, Chris the Computer Guru. He hasn't posted anything in a while. He's, but he's, not, he's actually not too bad. He's, he's not, pretty he much, work on stuff. He's pretty much what we are right yeah. now, but he definitely, he gets down pretty straight to it. Yeah. Um, so, um, but yeah, YouTube is, that's why YouTube is becoming so popular, because it's his videos. Okay, we're going to move on to our next, uh, next news segment, which is solar power shingles. Single the, shingles. The, the, if you don't know what shingles are, they're the stuff on your roofing and the, the, the siding. The black stuff that's usually black or white. It's stuff on top of your roof. Yeah, the, like the siding of the roof. It's a little tar it's stuff the top. that goes on top of your roof. Well, now they've made them so it's can, you can convert them into solar energy, which yeah. is, the, the, they're actually well, solar no, no, panels. No, 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 no. They are, yeah, they're technically kind of solar panel-like, and they take the heat into the energy. So they just staple them onto the thing. And they just it's pretty. onto the roof, and there's your solar. Your solar energy it doesn't is coming look, in right through It doesn't your look roof. any different than yeah, regular it ones. Yeah. It's, it's supposed to be coming out in 2010, so that's going to be very So it's not like having this big, ugly yeah. thing solar on the top of your roof. It definitely, it definitely blends in well, better. Well, when I see solar panels on top of someone's roof, I don't think of ugly. I think of, wow, they're He's, doing something good for the environment. I know. That's how I think about it. Yeah. But definitely people don't. Don't yeah. rather don't like it as much. Well, the people don't like wind pan. Wind. Okay. Yeah. Next week we're going to have Modern Warfare Two, which is a, the next big game that's going to be coming out. It's great. You got to see this. And then who will switch is act. <laughs> Alpha got the eye. Who will switch is actually um, who will switch people who are using. Yeah. To, who will switch who, to Windows who's Seven? Who's going to switch from Windows from Windows Vista to Windows Seven or Windows, Windows XP or Windows XP to Windows Seven? Are you really gonna switch? Would you switch? If yeah, you would you switch? Are you really gonna switch? Are you really gonna take time to switch? Um, yeah. Well, so that, that that's that about yeah. That basically that wraps, wraps up for our show. show. And make sure you join us next week, Friday at eight o'clock. Another live and, show. Yeah, another live show. Uh, this and has please been. Please call us. Yep. This has been Let's Talk Tech. I'm Thomas. And I'm Alan. And we, you can visit us at letstalktech.co.cc. Thanks for watching.